Practicing a technique here for some ugly construction and Manhattan construction. You can see I'm using a 730 second punch here in the drill bit and creating my small little pads or islands, the Manhattan style. Using some copper foil to place over. And then I'll punch those out and then we'll grab the meter here in just a moment. Check DC resistance and make sure that those uh, pads or solder to locations are isolated from the uh, ground plane itself. So again, I'm going to uh, build the uh, transmitter using this technique on a piece of plywood using the uh, copper foil. And we'll see how well it performs here in just a bit. Here at the breadboard, design and you can see the variable capacitor which I'm not using in my final design. The schematic itself, the oscillator circuit itself is a Pierce oscillator circuit using a 1 megahertz crystal. I'm modulating the carrier with T1. You can see that inserted on the drain side is one of those uh, 1300 to 8 ohm audio transformers reversed so the secondary is the audio input from the Bluetooth device again for those that watch my previous videos the turns ratio for that particular transformer is closer to um, 5.2 to 1 the oscillator circuit itself of course drives uh, Q2 that being configured as a, a buffer amplifier but it's also tuned at that point. You'll notice L2, L3, and C5. The configuration places L2, which I've got at 33 to 47 microhenries in series, with L3, which I'm using an FT50-61 with around 44 turns of 26 AWG magnet wire. So that gives me a total inductance of just north of 200 microhenries. The capacitance needed for C5 to resonate and tune the circuit using a 38 inch antenna, whip antenna like I'm using is approximately 100 picofarads. D1 is an LED and serves as a tuning indicator. So when the tank circuit itself is resident, that being L2, L3 in combination with C5, the LED will illuminate at the brightest point. As you just heard, the uh, modulation is uh, fairly clean. I can actually approach nearly 100% modulation just using the uh, Bluetooth being driven from my uh, smartphone or iPad. Taking a look here at the RF output, you can see it's uh, nice and clean. Again, this is with the uh, circuit, the tank circuit that is uh, being resonated to ensure that the uh, harmonic content is uh, way down in the mud. And you can see here it's uh, 35 dB or better. A few photos here of the completed project. And one thing I wanted to mention real quick, I used a 532nd punch, not the 732nd that I actually did the uh, demo at the first of the video. I think the 732nd is better. It gives you a larger pad. When I was doing the soldering here on mine, I had a couple of the uh, pads lift off. And uh, that was probably due to the size and the uh, amount of heat. Here's another bill too, Josh, tinkering with electronics. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a pop-up here in the right top corner of the screen. He's got some great comment on FM alignment and more. His build as well, using the uh, similar technique 
And he also stated it was a great uh, performer for him as well. So up next, guys, I think I'm going to tackle this Zenith radio that you're looking at. Just another one there that uh, needs to be restored. And uh, I've had this one on my uh, list for a while. And I think with spring around the corner, we can get right into the cabinet when that time comes. Thanks for watching, guys. Everyone out there, uh, take care and stay well.